right guys, we are over here. We got Snickers. I'm so excited. We're back in Texas and uh, Mast finished it. So uh, in this video, we're gonna be finishing the muffler, finish getting it tuned, and then start the drive to Bowling Green, Kentucky for Holly Ford Fest. So you guys stay tuned. And John hit it with some B-roll. A little bit. All right guys, so how sick was that B-roll? So behind the camera, we got John from Mach 1 Media. He's gonna be helping me out for the rest of the week, getting some cool content. We just got Snickers put back on the trailer and we are heading back over to Mass. The exhaust is done and uh, we got some final tuning to do and uh, I think then we're gonna be hitting the road. So we'll see when we get there. That is not a lane, that's the grass. That's not even a shoulder, that's literally just the grass. Like they're driving on the grass. All right guys, so we just pulled the truck into the diner room and I was gonna give John a little tour over here. And uh, since you guys might not know how John looks, that's John. What up? He's gonna be behind the camera and uh, he's awesome. Go make sure to follow Mach 1 Media and uh, Mach 1 John. And uh, here, let's give you guys a tour. So whoever hasn't seen it, we're at Mass Motorsports in Nacogdoches, Texas. And uh, this is the offices. So you got the engineering and um, all the cool magazine articles they've been in and stuff like that. You could see the dino self through Jason's office and Jason's in there doing some stuff. And then over here is all the test cells. So this is where they basically test. Th this one's not one, the rest of these are. Um, so they bring motors into them. I don't know if there's one in, let's see. No, no motor, but 
what they would do is, you know, bring the motor in, put it on, dyno it, and John, we're gonna walk through. So here's, for example, this 7.3. You can tell this was just on there because it's bolted up to this, which is meant for the dyno. And this is, And then here we are into the machine shop. So they make all of their own stuff. A lot of head work. That's what they're known for, the black label heads and all that kind of jazz. So for any LS or Godzilla or LT stuff, I mean, that's literally what they do all day. And you can see, I mean, it's really cool. More, you know, just cylinder heads on cylinder heads. What up? And then these we don't show. This is top secret, but more cylinder heads. And then over this way is uh, a lot of fun stuff. Yo! -ho. What you fixing? Hmm? What up? Good evening. What you fixing over here? Stud. Oh boy. It will not come out. <laughs> well, at least the stud might take a stud out. Right. <laughs> so this is the machine shop slash welding area. And then over here is where all the engines are actually built. So they have the different honing machines. They'll put the cylinder blocks on it, hone, do all the different stuff with it. Um, boring and then, the, you know, for CNC all of these I, I don't know and the last thing that kind of made a little bit more sense that's a really cool Godzilla poster and uh, it's like a staging area you could kind of yep you could see what they have this set up for you know rod clearancing or something like that I'm not a big motor guy per se another LSX 454 block up for some stuff And then all these blocks are just ready for uh, to start getting work done. They're gonna punch them out. Probably a lot of these are five threes. They're gonna turn them into you know six twos or bigger or stroker motors, stuff like that. And then uh, here's some completed motors that they're just getting ready before they ship. This one I believe is a Godzilla. Yep, and it's got the stack injection. Uh, it's got the same uh, Indy Power Products front kit that I've got on mine. It's pretty rad. Probably should have done some sort of injection like that. That thing is sick. It does look crazy. And yeah, then you just have different motors that you know they're putting together. It's another Godzilla right there, a bunch of LSs, and then this is the build room. Motors for days. What up? How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you too, man all LSX 454s. It's pretty crazy. What up, Josh? What's going on, man? Dude, that motor looks so good. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh, yeah, what we got good. over here? I'm doing a uh, Harrop Supercharge now. So it's got the 2650 on it. So, Dude, that's badass. Yeah, forge bottom end. Uh, hopefully this thing will make over a thousand. So doing a full Fiat on it, really just testing out some stuff. So. Hell yeah. Yep. Josh is, uh, he's the one that builds all the Godzillas. He's the one who put together my motor. Yep. And uh, if anything goes wrong, he's also the one to blame. No. But if it goes right, he's the one to blame. You're right. Yeah, so I'll take that. let's take that side. I'll, uh, I'll take the good of it. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, it's, it's, uh, it was a fun build and I'm really happy that I was able to do it. I mean, it was, it was really awesome to, uh, to do all this stuff. So for yeah. the people at home that are curious what's done into Snickers motor, can you give it a little rundown? So right now it's a forged bottom end. Uh, pretty much I put a full piston rod build into it. Uh, I balance the crank. Um, after that throw a 600 horse cam in it and, uh, we put a billet intake on it. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's about it. But, uh, yeah, I made sure to massage everything really nice, and uh, it, it everything worked together really well. So, Dude, yeah. it looks so cool. Oh, it's and good. And now that we blue. put the exhaust on, it sounds great. Does it? Yeah, I haven't even heard it yet. So they're gonna yeah. retune it, and uh, we're gonna take it for a couple of rips. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm excited. It's Me gonna too. be awesome. So yeah, and then the rest of the stuff in here is this is all the engine assembly here. So this is the one Godzilla bay, and uh, everything else is uh, LS stuff. 
and yeah superchargers on superchargers and just motors on motors on motors so Josh let's so. guys so we're over here in downtown Nacogdoches it's the next morning we forgot to uh, keep recording last night but basically we were just tuning and doing different things to Snickers eventually went to bed this morning I got a haircut as you just saw a little bit of b-roll and now we're downtown um, just figured I'd show John how cool this place is because this is the oldest town in all of Texas so this is the original town guys so they've been doing a bunch of testing and tuning and uh, right now we're gonna go to the gas station we're gonna fuel it up and then we're gonna go back to the shop and this is my first time actually driving it so let's go it's got a little bit of a uh, ignition switch issue we have a new one on order but it didn't get here yet Just at a little bit, you could feel the power that it does have. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. At the stop we need to be careful. This right. is literally like the first 150 feet I've driven. <laughs> yeah, we can't lose control just yet. Do not cut to lose control clip. <laughs> Whenever you drive something that you've never driven before for the first time, you're so anxious to do something, but you don't want to screw it up because you don't know what you're doing yet. That's exactly what's going on over here. It does feel like it wants to go. Can you feel that? Absolutely. Oh, so what are we doing? All right guys, so uh, I'm underneath Snickers. As you saw, we had a fuel leak. So the fuel line popped off the push lock fitting. And uh, so right now I'm holding the line so that way no more fuel pours out because it's 378 a gallon. And the fitting line is right here. But 
I can't get to it easily. So in a minute here, John's gonna put the camera down and we're gonna figure this out. But I figured before then we should show you what happens. So uh, that's what happens. There you go. We figured it out. And uh, apparently that's just the gas vent. Still has a bad ignition. Hasn't changed since the last clip. Still has one. Got it. Nope. There we go. So we fixed it and I got no shift linkage. No shift linkage! Inquired. All right, so we lost shift linkage, but Damon knows what's wrong. Everybody says to get an old truck. I agree. Damn. All right, guys, it's in gear. It popped off the little knob thing. Good thing we got our pit crew with us. Um, for a lot of people, I always like to say, I never work on my own stuff. And it's true, because I like to have professionals do what they're good at. So if I know I'm not good at something, like working on this truck, for example, and I don't want it to be bogus, I'll just have the right people work on it. And that's why I don't do a lot of work on it. But I will be doing some stuff, and you'll see. But anyway, let's enjoy this ride. All right, guys. So everybody here at Mass is like, I want to see you do a burnout before you leave. So here we go. Let's make sure it does one. What's up everybody? So, you saw a little bit of B-roll. We just unloaded Snickers here in Nashville. I think we're about 80 miles away from Bowling Green. I'm gonna drive it the last 80 miles. We're here to drop back off the U-Haul trailer and then we're gonna go pick up gold dust along the way to Bowling Green and eventually be at Holly Ford Fest. So it's really exciting. It's been a couple days to get here and uh, we're all hyped up. So here's a little bit more B-roll of us driving over. Alright guys, so we just made it over here. We're in Bethpage, Tennessee. I've been driving Snickers for the last, I don't know, hour or so. It's awesome. You've seen a bunch of the cool B-roll. And uh, now, we're here to pick up Goldust. So I'm gonna hop in Goldust. Tom's gonna drive Snickers the rest of the way. And uh, we're gonna have a bunch of fun. And we're actually at my buddy Tony's place, Tennessee Tough Trucks. And let's just see if anybody's here. If not, we'll take a peek at his freewheeling truck and hit the road. Well, it looks like they're closed. Makes sense because they're actually also going to Bowling Green for Ford Fest. But here is an awesome F-150 custom freewheeling truck. 
and he got this one from Justin at uh, um, Firehouse. And then you can see they got a couple 7.3 trucks. I mean, it's Ford country over here. But we're gonna hop in Gold Dust and uh, we're gonna go to Ford Fest, enjoy some more B-roll until we get there. everybody so we're over here at holly ford fest see a little bit of b-roll when we were coming in and uh now i'm going to grab my buddy neil from brothers composites this is the all carbon fiber bump side we're going to bring him over to the ford era area and uh this is going to be awesome i'm so excited today's the first day everybody's starting to roll in slowly tomorrow's going to be a ton of fun i'm excited for you guys to see it all now we're going to keep showing you some awesome clips thanks to john so enjoy them Guys, so we're here in the Ford era area and uh, we already got a couple trucks here. So we got Brothers Composites carbon fiber bump side. We got Gold Dust, Tennessee Tough Trucks brought out a Bronco and then P15 has two of their high boys. And uh, now we're gonna be heading back over to the vendor area. We're gonna just kind of see what's over here, have a little montage. This is pretty much it for today, but tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun. So enjoy the montages. Guys, we're over here in the back seat of uh, Kyle. Oh, hey, Kyle. What's up? You're on camera. Hey, hey. We got Craig. What's up? And uh, we're having fun in the back of the limo over here at Holly Ford Fest. And uh, we're going to weld some stuff up because the shift linkage is broken on this rusty turf. So we're heading over to Jack Roush's thing and uh, we're going to weld it up. It should be pretty quick. Yeah, I got a Roll a thumb than it is to talk. Yeah. Six hours later. All right, guys, it's like 12 o'clock at night <clears throat> and uh, I'm back here at the Airbnb and I actually just finished editing up the video that you guys just watched and I was like, I forgot to make an outro. So we were just hanging out, having fun and uh it's gonna be a really good time so you guys smash the like button thank you so much for doing that and uh if you want to see the rest of this subscribe to the channel 
I have any questions, comments, drop it down below. Let me know which truck you like better, Goldust or Snickers. I, I like Goldust better, but Snickers is really cool. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.